And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Fate. We're going to be playing some Heimerdinger. We got new Heimerdinger with these turrets kind of switched around. And combining it with Twisted Fate, we're going to be using Bilgewater and PNZ and having a bunch of card advantage and trying to overload our opponent with all the card advantage that we have and all of the free turrets that we get with Heimerdinger where we're going to be going six wide all the time with Heimerdinger uh, thanks to the free turrets and hopefully just uh, wearing them down. That's kind of the, the plan. So we're going to have a lot of draw and discard. We're going to have Rummage, Urchin, um, a couple of Sump Dredger also where if we're because uh, we're going to have a lot of free cards. We're going to have like our Pilfer Goods and our Black Market Merchant nabbing cards from them. Um, or sometimes like a pick a card to draw a bunch of cards. Or um, Heimerdinger making like making low cost turrets that we don't really need. Like one and two mana turrets. And then we can uh, rummage away those, those really cheap turrets to draw more cards. And we want to be drawing tons of cards for our Twisted Fate. So we can level up Twisted Fate real fast. And so hopefully these two can just kind of combine to have an engine where we're just, um, you know, filtering through a whole bunch of cards and getting what we need, finding our champions, uh, getting the board nice and big, and then using like Riptide Rex to help finish the games out and, and attacking a bunch and, and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of what that's kind of what our deck's all about. We'll see how it works. I think what we're going to struggle with are the really really large units. Uh, we're gonna go play five games over in ranked, but like you're you're like they who endure, that's just gonna be way too big for us to deal with. Or like Leviathan, um, you know Leviathan plus Swain, that's gonna be problematic. That kind of stuff could be where we struggle. Hey Tofik, awesome! Thanks for catching the stream, being here live. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna be playing against Thresh Gangplank. Thresh Gangplank is the kind of deck that all it wants to do is. Uh, kill small units. I don't really want Mystic Shot or Make It Rain. I'm going to keep the Jury Rig. We're going to keep the Static Shot because it says Draw Card. And I'm going to keep Jury Rig because I have a ton of things that discard in the stack. And so I want um, I want some payoffs for discarding some easy things to discard. Okay, a little bit of a slower hand. Looks like we found some jury rigs. So I could Static Shock and then play Black Market Merchant and nab one. I think I'm going to do that. Right, I'm going to go ahead and nab one. Okay, that's a good card to have. Alright, they're gonna have a leveled up gangplank pretty fast. My hope is that I'd have the extra, the one extra mana for the Glimpse Beyond. Fast level of gangplank. So we want to draw like rummage. That would be a good one. Oh, to weigh these jury rigs. So if I go red card, we kill those things, but then we don't get to pilfer goods. 
is really what I want. I'm gonna go with the Make It Rain so I get to pilfer goods. I said I had a whole bunch of things to discard, but okay, there we go. Say so maybe I was lying. Never lost a fair game or played one. Alright, draw two. Yuck. The good news is they're down to just three cards. So not very many. Just one card. I'm always up for a round or two. Okay. Gotta stop them from going wide. Um, I can probably just wait on that. And go straight to combat. I'm taking two. Likely taking two. Could take one, of course, and cast jury. I could cast jury rig, so I only take one. But I don't feel like that's completely necessary. All right, we'll go get a five one. What's the five one? Quick attack. And quick attack's good enough, I guess. Uh, did I, did I miss the attack with the elusive? I was, I don't know, maybe I thought that I already attacked or something, or, I don't know, I, I mean, yeah, if I, if I miss the attack, I just miss the attack, I don't know. There's no reason why I shouldn't attack. Please, I have connections! Heimerdinger is Rune Terra's Tony Stark. Possible. Yeah. Three hit the gangplank. Riptide Rex is still great. Thanks, Potato. Yeah, yeah, we got the 5 0 dream a little bit ago. And you said you're three away from Diamond now. Very nice. Truly remarkable. You're gonna get there. Okay. So that's. 
Got the first one. Good win. Good win. They didn't really have very much of their top end, and that helped out that, that they kind of ran out of cards because they just had so much low-end stuff. And we were able to overpower the low-end stuff. We just stayed alive enough. And was able to do that. Nice. Potato's been rocking a Garen Shen deck. I like it. That's definitely up my alley. That's definitely my kind of deck right there. <laughs> we got somebody snoring back here. I don't know. Let's see. Yep. If I can turn the chair enough. Ah. You can just see. Just see the little doggo back here snoring in her bed. So same matchup. I'm going to just keep this stuff. I like these. I like the nab cards in this matchup for sure. They got good things to nab. And we'll figure out a way to turn on plunder, whether it's through Static Shock, Mystic Shot, or whatever. Unfortunately, Pilfer Goods cost three now, so turn my turn three, I won't be able to just play Mystic Shot, target them, and then uh, Black Market Merchant, and then Pilfer Goods. We're playing against the exact same person. I'd be surprised if we are. We think of Karma plus Shipwreck Hoarder deck, so you use the treasures twice. That does sound pretty great. <laughs> well, let's see. The the draw five cards once, you're just gonna draw up to ten, right? So like you just draw you just fill your hand. So you, you probably have like three other cards in hand, so you only draw seven, right? So it doesn't, it'll help, but it won't help as much as you would think right away. Um, Kill that thing. And then, yeah, like the other one where you make the three 8-8s, eight you know, you basically just fill the board up with 8-8s, eight eights, which is usually like the three 8-8s. Eight eights. The other one will do 10 damage. That kills your karma. So honestly, maybe you don't really need them twice. Maybe they don't really help casting twice. to nab. I want to nab like their expensive stuff like Rekindler and Rekindler Vengeance. Like that kind of stuff. I play Sprayfin. I still have two mana. Mystic Shots, or Thermogenic Beam. Probably need to save Thermogenic Beam.
Yeah, or Glimpse Beyond. That was a good card that we stole the last last game. It's a good one to steal. So I can rummage away Powder Monkey, or we can play Powder Monkey to help us with Pilfer Goods. Now we have that. That, that, let's see. That seems like a good card to rummage away. Since we, like, you know, use the, the monkey idol instead. Gonna be weird. It's all in the wrist, see? This game's pretty weird. Three monkey idols in play. So this monkey idol that they have is going to, you know, it'll get a powder monkey, but that'll, then it'll die after this powder monkey. Oh, stop nabbing my things. So they've nabbed two cards from me. Uh, I think one of them was that black market merchant. Gross. That just nabs another card. So Withering Wheel would be another great one to take from them. Withering Wheel, Grasp, Vengeance, Rekindler, all that kind of stuff. Not Hapless Aristocrat. I mean, I guess it's just a blocker out here, I guess. Kill that thing now. Well, it's about to be leveled up. Like that's that's gonna attack as leveled up. It's four out of five now, but they can just cast one of these warning shots and attack with that as leveled up. have any I'll take my time. Your king. won't have any barrels at least obviously I'm really hoping they don't have riptide Rex okay so that's good no riptide Rex um, that's just so much damage Block here, block here, block here. See, make it rain could maybe kill one of these, but I don't know which one it could kill, and I can't. I guess we can 
I guess we could jury rig block one, shoot the other. That's me going down to three. That's, I mean, that's the most life I can possibly save. That's me going down to three. So that's me going down to two now. shots. So it sounds like they have just have two warning shots. No, I mean, I, I have to stay alive. I, I didn't have the ability to wreck, to cast Riptide Rex on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kill me. Go ahead. One candle for every sun. I couldn't, I mean, I didn't have Plunder turned on. I couldn't just cast Riptide Rex for eight mana and, and do anything. I didn't have Plunder turned on. I didn't do damage to them. <sighs> Black Market Merchant against Callista Lucian. Yeah, yeah, because people have so many warning shots that you just forget there's the plunder part about it. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't just, after combat, play Riptide Rex with the plunder trigger. Cool. Kill that. Now my mystic, sh mystic shot. Can kill Callista. Very good. And I'm just gonna pass right here. Say, so let them play something first. Okay, a 5-4. Hmm. I'm going to gold card and thermogenic beam. Which obviously I could have just played thermogenic beam. Um, you know, then I wouldn't have... You know, so I wouldn't have Twisted Fate in play, but I'd still have the card ability of Twisted Fate. Looks like trouble. Maybe go pick a card on the other pick a card. Or maybe not. Go Looks like I'm going to make it rain. Why are you 
basically the green fade warren is a 4-2 or you know like a better better version of a 4-2 so i'll just block with my elusive all or nothing so twist of fate's three out of eight i can go for the level up with pick a card and jury rig or i can play heimerdinger so do i want to go for the level up or play heimerdinger probably want to go for the level up so let's pick a card, the other, pick a card. And this is a good time with having Rummage. No. <laughs> so if there's something like Riptide Rex that we draw that we can't play, we can Rummage it away. And a long path to get here. All right, so we're at seven out of eight. This will be eight out of eight. Sorry, old Rex. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Okay, so we can. Uh, Block and gold card. I don't know if gold card... I guess the gold card would get Scythria, not the Radiant Guardian, which is what I need them to get Radiant Guardian. So maybe I just block here instead of doing all that and play Heimerdinger first. Uh... Poor Twisted Fate, but we have two more level up Twisted Fates in our deck. Let's find those. Maybe. We'll maybe find those. Uh, let's see. possible they don't Anything else? <laughs> it's possible they don't block one of those Stay back. guess the answer is nope not possible fine. Just want to see the T-Hex. Really I, I just like having another, you know, just another Heimerdinger. Right. Like, if I play the T-Hex, I, I don't get Heimerdinger. Uh, you know how I said that we'll be fine a little bit ago? No, I'm not so sure about that. Nope, not so sure about that at all. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit on that. We'll be fine. Nothing stands in our way. I am very glad they're doing this, because 
I'm definitely dead if they don't do that, but am I still dead? 14, yeah, I'm still dead. So I guess it's, oh no, because I don't, I don't draw three cards right now. So I guess I have to do this. Single combat. Uh, they already had multiple single combats. Nice. Never mind. I thought we were going to be fine. Harrowing is a heck of a card. Heck of a card. And it's it's really like they needed harrowing like this turn. Right? Like I think if we I think if we just like one more turn, we're we're gonna be filled up on stuff, right? Like all I needed was one more turn without harrowing. But they had harrowing. So they had like you know, they had two single combats and the harrowing, those are all a killer. They don't have one of those things, we would have been fine. They didn't have one of those three. Okay. They just had, you know, generic unit. I think both Mystic Shot and Make It Rain are probably good. There we go. This time we get rewarded for keeping Jury Rig unlike that first game. <laughs> that first game, we didn't find it something to discard it. We just kept on drawing more and more Jury Rigs. Sejuani and Gangplank both really care about these Plunder Triggers. So therefore, I think I need to kill the Omen Hawk. And not allow them to have that. That might make it rain. Hard to tell. Rig, what are you doing? Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Uh, yeah, they need to fix the Riptide Rex anim animation. I agree. Uh, pre nerfed Pilford goods. Well, these Yordle Grifters have been awesome. So I'm pretty sure that was my black market merchant that took my pilfer goods. Pretty sure. Instincts. 
I'm not sure what to do. Stunning the 4-4 means that my 4-3 blocks the 3-3, so, like, that's not great. Um, red card just basically means my Twisted Fate trades with that. Meh. I guess I go blue card. Alright, so they've already dealt damage to me this turn. That was a good draw. That was a good blue card. If I can Mystic Shot them and then play Riptide Rex. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I thought that this was a Riptide Rex turn. My bad. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. My bad. So they have their Sejuani and Gangplank leveled up. So one Gangplank down. Now, I kind of hope they go Sejuani, because they go Sejuani, a Riptide Rex, kill it. This land is ours. Hmm. Let's still go Sejuani. I can do six damage with Thermogenic Beam. So that's a six, seven now. I really need to have Sejuani be a 5-5, not a 5-6 originally. It's just too big. Yeah, they don't they don't do a great job of wording the twisted fate, but yes, whenever you do have a leveled up twisted fate, it always does blue card and then uh it always does blue card first. Um, and then red card and then gold card. I need four. I need four of them to go at the Tusk Raider. At least, you know, I need four of the seven to go Tusk Raider. So that would have happened. They would have been at 11, not 10. They would have been at 11. This would have been dead. Attack them for four, and then I have four damage right here. So we would have won that if, if that was just the other way around. If it just did four to Tusk Raider, three there, we would have won it. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Ah, the sweet smell of science. You own what you take. We own all we see.
No! Make it rain, let me down. Man. We just weren't winning with like the. I mean, we probably just weren't winning just in general, but we were. We definitely weren't winning with our tide Rex dying. Ugh. Yeah, I'm lucky a couple of times. There at the end with make it rain and and everything. So of all three, of these these are just we just played against three gangplank decks, right? We played against the same deck twice to start with, and then that then gangplank Sejuani, right? We did gangplank Thresh, gangplank Thresh, gangplank Sejuani. Oh no, we played four deck, four games. What was our fourth? Hmm. I'm gonna keep this rummage. Yeah, not going our way. Not going our way. Um, our deck, I think, has felt pretty good. Yeah, like we've we've been playing very close games, but they just haven't been going our way. That's a good one to take. It's a good one to take. Sorry, I did not. Um, Ed Tall, could you play my deck tomorrow or on Tuesday? Yes, yeah, so Ed Tall. Uh, which deck is Ed Tall? V Vlad Brom? Okay. Yeah, your deck was Vlad Brom? Yeah. So yeah, I can do that tomorrow. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Potato. Fire beware. All right, setting up the one damage each for the Twisted Fate. All right, cool. Getting a block in also. All right, so Vlad Brom on Saturday. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. I do just really like getting black market merchant down before they find more merchants or pilfer goods and other things to reduce the mana cost of stuff. I'm always up for a round or two. Yeah, no problem. Uh, dang. So we did not have a bilge water card on top. Would have if I would have played this last turn. We had Riptide Rex on top.
Their Twisted Fate's at 2 out of 8. Can I wait and next turn go Heimerdinger and Thermogenic Beam? And every single Make It Rain. Some of those had to have been my Make It Rains, right? Or something. Like, I don't know. They, they're doing a great job of drawing Make It Rain. Alright, well, I'm just going to kill this thing now then. Wow. Okay, Ezreal's at five. We're gonna have some... Uh, I'm probably gonna be playing Heimerdinger and then Rummage next turn and getting a one mana blocker. Maybe I just Mystic Shot. And wait and have a whole lot more mana next turn whenever I play Heimerdinger. That kind of seems better. It's risky because I'm not keeping Warning Shot for Riptide Rex. Alright, well that didn't work out. Not, not exactly. You know, like we're just digging for more Heimerdingers and Twisted Fates and stuff like that though. Like we are doing a, a good job of going through the deck. And then we just have Mystic Shot for Riptide Rex. And I do want to trade, if possible, because then you know the less things I have in play, the harder it is for Ezreal to level up. So I do want to just trade units all the time. I thought you'd never ask. Hmm. Now, Jerry Rig, we already discarded everything. Okay, so that was just a regular Mystic Shot for them. Their Ezreal's at 7. It's pretty dead now. They could be sitting on their own. Like, if their two cards are Warning Shot Rex, it's going to be a little ugly, but I have the Jury Rig that can come down and block Rex. Okay. So now their Ezreal is at 10, or is at 8, sorry. So that was a 10, but yeah, now their Ezreal is at 8. Keep that card advantage going. Don't stand in my way. Dang. I'd like to rummage away the jury rig. Do I just rummage away Riptide Rex? That seems so not good. <laughs> if I cast rummage on the jury rig and the Riptide Rex, that's two more draws for Twisted Fate, and we get to get the 1 1 blocker. Then we'd have the Static Shock for another draw. Could just take two. Charmed, I'm sure. Got 
I don't want to take two. Stakes. I have one card. I'm basically just like, you know, uh, Riptide Rex seems like the only thing that's going to be killing me, and I just kind of want to keep playing it so, like, I don't die to Riptide Rex. You're bluffing. I'm out. Yeah, could have cast Jury Rig to block. Basically, I thought we'll probably find another Twisted Fate. Like, we're, we're going to be drawing cards and everything, and we'll find another Twisted Fate if we need it. But and I realized that we don't need a Twisted Fate with with their life total, with what we have. We don't, didn't need Twisted Fate. It makes a very good block and a setup basically exactly what we did. I thought that this was a, a really good setup to have. All right, GG's. GG's. Not an easy deck to play. I'd have to say, not an easy deck to play. So I couldn't Static Shock and then Rummage because Static Shock is fast speed. So like whenever Static, whenever you let Static Shock resolve, then combat also resolves right afterwards. And so I wasn't gonna be able to Rummage after static, static Shock resolved, draw whatever card, then discard that card to Rummage, and then get the Jury Rig to block. We weren't, we weren't going to be able to do all of that together. Yes, yeah, so this one was not an easy one to play, but definitely a, a fun deck, definitely a pretty rewarding deck, and it uh, felt, felt good, felt strong. Um, you know, we didn't face They Who Endure. I think that would be a problematic card for sure. But besides that, um, we did a pretty decent job against larger units anyway, like Sejuan, you know, larger Sejuanis and Gangplanks and things like that. We did a pretty decent job with the help of Thermogenic Beam and Riptide Rex. So we were doing pretty good against those things. We yeah, had lots of plunder, lots of card draw. And so like just the, the more cards you draw in, in everything, then just the more decisions you're making. And so the more chances you have to mess up or to play really well and uh, makes it kind of a difficult deck to play but um pretty fun and, and you know we got didn't get to do a ton with heimerdinger but you know sometimes we got we got some turrets they got some attacking in and we got like turret that you know like a little little wrench bot turret that we just discard to urchin and draw a new card um that's what this deck can do it can take like the small turrets you know you, you can make a whole bunch of small turrets and discard them with rummage and urchin and, and some dredger um, even pick a card um, and stuff like that. Um, uh, what do I think about taking Heimerdinger to four mana now? No, I don't think that's necessary. I think Heimerdinger is, is fine where it's at. It's, um, I don't I think it feels too slow at five after the nerfs. I think that just this kind of card, it's, there's not really a good spot for a card a card like this whenever you make a whenever you design a card that can just create tons and tons of zero mana units like this it's either going to be way too powerful and broken or it's going to be designed in such a way where it's going to be too slow and not that impactful there's not a happy medium this is not a uh it's just not a well-designed thing for for um you know like a competitive card game it's like a, it's a cool design for for heimerdinger and you know like heimerdinger making all these turrets and stuff like that's a cool design for heimerdinger flavor wise and stuff but for like a competitive card game this is not a something you can really balance um whenever you want something like this and so it's uh, i think this is i think where it's at is about as good as about as good as you can do um i don't think that i do not think it should be four mana i do not think that it needs to be powered up any more than what it is all right, there we go. That's Heimer Fate. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.